believe it just flies. Friends, I love this. I want to turn it on. Can I? Yeah. Is it, is it unpinned from your hair there? You know, it's pretty pinned in right now, it but I can let you eventually. <laughs> <laughs> this is great. We have Miss New Mexico. This is Marissa Livingston and Miss New Mexico Outstanding Teen, uh, Sasha Butler. And you guys, brand new to wearing the crowns. Yes, I love this. Are. What, a week now? About a week That'll into be. it. Very cool. Is it, you getting used to it? You getting used to wearing the sash? Are you wearing it everywhere? We're wearing it everywhere, but I don't think you ever get quite used to never it. Never get used so. to it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And you guys, so the Miss New Mexico organization, please explain what that is a little bit, because there are several different pageants. There's, Miss, there's the, the Donald Trump one. There, there, there's a million of them. But Miss yeah. New Mexico is in the Miss USA. I'm... Um, I'll explain them, please. <laughs> yes, of course, of course. So the Miss New Mexico Scholarship Organization is the state organization under the Miss America Miss organization. America. So that's the largest provider of scholarships for young women in the world. So um, through the Miss New Mexico organization, we competed at a local level and then just won the state title to represent at the national level. Very cool. So what kind of scholarships do you guys win? And, and you're a recent graduate from UNM. Yes. Does this mean you're going to be furthering your education and yes, going back from definitely. Degree? I'm going to be going to grad school eventually after this year and pursuing um, uh, my master's in communications Excellent. and so it is paid for um, via the scholarship that I won for Miss New Mexico. And you, Sasha? So the scholarships we get, they save it for us for when we actually decide to go to college, but okay. I do plan on majoring in musical theater. Oh, very cool. Well, you are already a dancer, right? Or sing, a singer. Yes. That was your talent. Yes. What did you sing for the show? I sing What I Did for Love from a Chorus Line. It's a Broadway musical. Oh, very cool. And you're a dancer. Yes, I am a dancer. And what kind of dance did you do? I did a jazz dance, and it was to the song I'm Gonna Live Till I Die. And I'm actually a, a trained dancer, but I'm also a dance teacher at Fishback Studio of the oh, Dance here in Albuquerque. Cool. Yes. Very cool. N nobody did batons? Like, that was like the Not classic us. thing. Like, that was the <laughs> that classic thing, us. was the baton <laughs> spinning, right? It is very talented, but no, we did not do that for our <laughs> So you guys have to have platforms for this, and this is part of a. Um, it's. The competitions aren't just about, you know, whether or not you can answer a question on stage. Well, it's how devoted you are to the community, right? Yes. yes. And yours is for the kids. Tell us a little bit about that. Yeah. So my platform is called For the Kids, and it's about supporting Children's Miracle Network hospitals through dance marathons. So mm -hmm. specifically, the UNM Children's Hospital and our local dance marathon at the University of New Mexico. I didn't even know there was one. Yeah. So it was. Um, it's um, two years old, I guess you could say. And I was actually a co-founder of the organization here at the university, and so we do. Um, a, a variety of awareness campaigns, we raise money, all to support the children at the UNM Children's Hospital. And when you see dance marathon, is that one of those, I'm imagining like the 24 hour full on dance marathon. It's not 24 like, hours, it's 13 hours, but that still is that's still very That's a long time to dance. To stand on your feet and support those kids, so that's it's definitely. It's a long time. Yes, exactly. It's Sasha, awesome. tell us about Uniquely You. I know that's what your platform yes, is and so, that's what you're working yes, with. Yes, it's called Uniquely You, Be Confident With Who You Are, and it focuses on teaching kids to be embrace what makes them unique and their differences whether you know it's like a haircut or for me I was diagnosed with vitiligo it's a skin condition that's disfiguring it discolors the skin and I have it here on my face I don't know if you can see it I'm, I'm, no. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah and it's just a plot because for confidence so teaching kids how to be confident and how to be comfortable in their own skin yes. very cool yeah. so how do you guys prepare for this I know that there are there's a series of local and regional pageants first, mm -hmm. right? What were you before Miss New Mexico? I was Miss Duke City, so Miss Duke representing City. Albuquerque oh, very, cool. very proudly. And you were? I was Miss Las Vegas. Very cool. Yes. And so how do you prepare for these competitions? I know that there's a lot that goes into not just what you wear and how you present yourself, but you know what you want to say and how you want to even present your platform, right? Yes, definitely. You know, for me, it was a lot of um, studying up on current events, making mm -hmm. sure I was very knowledgeable going into my interview. So but watching the morning brew every day for exactly, headlines, right? Exactly, for the yeah. top headlines, yes. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, um, you know, just um, a lot of, um, you know, practicing your talent and, um, you know, being in good shape, you know, so that you can um, live up to the demands of that grueling schedule that week. Especially you know, week, yeah. we went mm -hmm. from about five in the morning until about 10 o'clock every night with oh rehearsals <laughs> and appearances and so on. But it was so much fun and so worth it. So for us, um, you know, the preparation is different for every individual person. Yeah. Um, but I think for the most important thing is being comfortable with who you are and just being really confident going into that week with a good mindset. Absolutely. How do you prepare mentally, though, for that kind of grueling week? I mean, is it because I've, I've seen this thing happen and there's dance numbers, there's singing, there's 
backstage costume changes, it's like going to a share show. I mean, there's stuff <laughs> happening. So like, how do you prepare for that part of it? I mean, do you just have to put your theater mind on and go and do it? Yeah, I mean, I think for me, it was just staying positive the whole week. Yeah. You never really know um, how you're doing throughout the course of the week, but just staying positive, knowing that you're doing your best, and just also hoping for the best, you know, knowing it will all work out in the end. And for us, you know, we were very lucky and fortunate that it did work out for us this year. So did you cry when they, like, put the, they put the crown on the number two <laughs> person? Were you like, oh, my God, was it one of those yes, moments? Yes, it was like the <laughs> Miss America picture where I'm crying. Right? The, the running mascara. Yeah, but like I said, you have no idea how you're doing throughout the course of the week. So when they call top ten, you have no idea. When they call top five, you have no idea. And when they call your name, you have no idea. So mm -hmm. for me, it was just such a blessing. And I was just so fortunate to have my family and friends there and everyone to support me. What do you think it was that put you over the edge, that, that gave you the, the winning whatever it was this year? What do you think they saw in you that said, we want this girl to represent New Mexico for the next 12 months? Yeah, you know, for me, it was a lot of hard work. I put in tons of hours preparing for this. This has been a dream of mine for quite some time and I worked really hard. I didn't give up and I think that that's what really, you know, helped me to give me that edge this year. Very cool. Yeah. So, and do you lean on her now for tips? Do you, are you like looking yeah. at her like a big I sister lean on mentor? Her for tips. <laughs> make them yeah. She's my little buddy. We're going to be yeah. a great team this year. And that's we're also cool. fortunate enough to both have the same coach so we oh. work a lot together with her too. Oh, very cool. So yeah. I, didn't, I didn't realize there were coaches for this, but I'm sure there are. So oh, did, yeah. what do the coaches teach you? Uh, just kind of different things. My co uh, our coach helped us with picking outfits and also mm. helped us to like getting an interview coach, different things like that. Very cool. So how, what do you guys do now? Like what? What does Miss New Mexico do? What does the outstanding team do for the next 12 months? Yeah, so we're also going to be um, competing at our national competition. Sasha, do you want to talk about um, Miss America's outstanding team? Yeah, so we're going to Orlando, and that's going to be an entire week of the just, the, you know, the competitions, learning our rehearsals all day, kind of the same as New Mexico, but just more intense with all the states this time, so it's mm -hmm. not at the national level. And, and then you, you're Miss going America. to Atlantic City, yes, right? Yes, I will be going to Atlantic City in September to represent our state at Miss America. Very so cool. it's very exciting. But beyond that, I mean, there there are local events you have to be at, local yeah. things you get to wear the crown and the sash for. Yes. What are you looking forward to in that part of it? Just representing the state and traveling throughout, promoting our platforms, you know, attending major events such as the Balloon Fiesta, the Gathering of Nations, mm -hmm. and so on, and just really being in the forefront of the public's eye and really promoting this wonderful organization yeah. and all the opportunities it presents to young women in our state. I love it. And by then you'll have the you'll have it down to put the crowns in there. <laughs> I'll let you borrow it. Right. Next <laughs> next year. Exactly. We'll next do it. Year. All right. We'll be back in a couple of seconds in the morning brew with friends. And we're gonna be talking to some guys from UNM who are solving cancer. I love this, right? It's great. All the morning brew with friends.